First of all, I'd like to thank you for having me here today and for choosing our advertising agency to help you with your new fundraising initiative. We're also so excited about it. We couldn't wait to get started. Uh, so you have your packages there in front of you. If you want to take a, a look, uh, we've got several different options that you can choose from and we know you're just going to love them all. So um, why don't we get started? Um, first of all, First of all, we know that museums have a certain reputation for being kind of stuffy and a little bit boring. And so we thought uh, that a hard sell would be the, the best approach. So uh, uh, take a look. I'll, I'll, I'll run you through it. It goes a little something uh, like this. History, history, history. Come on down to Huronia Museum. We're your local leaders in history. We've got all kinds of artifacts for your intellectual pleasure. We've got things like this thing, that thing. We've even got this. Do you know what that is? Because we do. We're your leaders in local history. And we wouldn't be very good at our jobs if we didn't. We've got artifacts from 1969, 1829. Heck, we've even got artifacts from years as low as 1695. So come on down to Huronia Museum. And don't forget to visit our gift shop. We got the best deals in history. No? Okay, all right, you know what? You don't like that one, that's fine, that's fine. You know what, I'll be honest with you, we weren't leading with our best material here. So the next one we have on page two there, you'll see it's really classy, it's really intellectual, and I think you're really gonna love this one. Like a drop of water, tiny and precious, but made mighty when added to the immense power of the ocean. Huronia Museum, too, is the drop in the ocean. The ocean of love, your love of Huronia. Come to Huronia Museum. Feel our love and love our feelings of love of Huronia. Huronia. I need to floss more. Oh, no? Uh, okay, all right, I understand. Not your kind of thing. I totally get it. You know what, I think I get you guys now. I think, um, if you look, uh, we've got our final option there. Um, you know, it's a, a real direct approach. <coughs> okay, 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 you know what, never mind, never mind. Forget I even mentioned that one, that one. That one sounded better in my head. <laughs> that one sounded better in my head. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, we had we had some good ideas. You guys didn't like them. That, that's okay. Uh, but I got to be honest with you guys. I, I'm not sure we're on the same page here. I uh, I only got one thing left, and um, I'm be honest. It's not it's not my best work. I, I thought of it just on the way here. I wrote it on this napkin. Um, I don't know if you want it or not, but it's what I got. I bet you don't know why they call it Hugel Avenue. Do too. Oh yeah? Why then? Uh, it's French. It means like, split a village or whatever because it runs through the middle of town. <laughs> no it doesn't. That's stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. Uh-uh. Uh, it's short for huge bagel because in the 1800s or whatever, there was this guy who had a bakery and he had these bagels that were so big, people called them huge bagels or hugels for short. And people would be all like, hey man, give me a baker's dozen of hugels. And he'd be like, hey man, that's like 10 cents or whatever because this is like the 1800s. And they were so popular that he made so much money and he gave the town a whole bunch of money to name the street after his product as advertising. Then he was ironically killed under the weight of some of his own Hugels in the Hugel avalanche. And the town kept the name of the street to honor him and his contributions. That's why it's called Hugel. That's not true. You're stupid. Nope. It's true. My brother told me, and a guy told him. It means split the village. Huge bagel. Split the village. Huge bagel. Split the village. Split the village. Split the village. Stop. Museum man.
What seems to be the problem here, kids? How can I help? Can you tell us where Hugel Avenue gets its name? Because some people don't know. Oh, shut up. Can you tell us, Museum Man? <laughs> Museum Power! <sighs> Sorry about that. Baron Adolf von Hugel was president of the Midland Railway Company in the 1870s when he decided to bring his railway here to this area. The railway brought with it an age of prosperity and a large boom in population. I think it's fair to say that Midland would be a very different place today were it not for Baron Adolf von Hugel. And that is where Hugel Avenue gets its name. Wow! I didn't know that! Yeah! Where can we find out more information about local history? To the museum! What has two thumbs and loves local history? This guy. So, what do you think? <laughs> All right, let's get started. Hello, I'm Museum Man. Be a history hero like me and help support Hironia Museum. Together, we can build a better future for Hironia by preserving and remembering our past. You can leave a donation at one of our many collection stations or drop on by the museum and do it in person. For more information, visit our website at heroniamuseum.com. The real history hero is you.